this week on Outdoor Bound TV. Grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair because it's hard water season in Manitoba and we're off to Wakusco Falls Lodge to fish for giant northern pike with pro staffers Brian Bogdan and Captain Lee Hosh. Brian will share with us some of his techniques for rigging his beaver dam tip-ups to handle these monster fish. Then hang on because it's an all-out battle below the ice with these incredible fish. Look at that fish. Yes! Fish on. It is girls weekend. That is awesome. Definitely a treat. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master Ice Augers. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all new professional gray tungsten series. Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. Got one. Jake, there he bit. Great fish. And the dangler rod holder. Introducing the dangler rod holder. Revolutionizing tip down performance. Available at your local retailer or online at danglericefishing.com. Strike Master introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strike Master. Mountain Dew Ice, a clear, refreshing lemon lime dew. Came to drip, 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 Mountain Dew Ice, a clear, refreshing lemon lime dew. Hey everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. You know, we're finishing up a little late season bow hunting here in the Midwest, but on this week's show, we're gonna take you to one of my favorite places to fish, Northern Manitoba. Now we'll be visiting with friend and pro staffer, Brian Bogdan. Each year we get a chance to visit with him and do a little ice fishing for Monster Pike. So let's head to the frozen waters of Reed Lake right now.
see it spinning when we got up here. Yeah. And they just, oh, there. there he is. There he's going right there. I think we'll take it. Absolutely. Come on, George. Oh, here we go. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, ice. Yeah. Ice. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. uh, that was a he, good one. He was there for a bit. Was he? Yeah, he was there for Did a bit. Did he stretch your dock on? You know, it was hard to tell. Yes. I thought he turned and rolled towards the hole, but um, it may be that I just pulled out of his mouth too. Hmm. Yeah. We're going to say that was a small one. Is that your story? That's my story. Absolutely. I'm the one that doesn't, I can sleep at night, I don't know about you. <laughs> oh well. You never stung them, that's the best thing. Right. That's why I keep working down the line and thinking yep. there's going to be another flag that's going to go up. Actually last week we had a flag go off, then literally, I don't know, five oh, seconds. Oh, he's here, he's here. He just hit it. He just, he it. just hit it right now. He's here. He's, he's taking line. That's crazy. I just dropped it back in there and all of a sudden I felt this poop poop, but now he's taking line, so. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and set him. Nope. Oh, oh he's mad. <laughs> he's mad. <laughs> he didn't like that. He did not like being turned around like that. Ooh. Okay, he's turned, he's coming up the hole. Oh my goodness, Kurt. That's way better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I, I honestly did not expect that. To be honest, 99% of the time when you're resetting and you catch it again, it's a small fish. That's exactly and right. That is not a small that fish. Is not That's a the small 1% fish where it doesn't. By any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> look at that. Good job. Unbelievable. Well, you are good. You've claimed your status. You are good. You are good, buddy. Well, I tell you what, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. We'll call lucky. And, hey, look down the line. Oh, come on. Come on. We've got another flag down the line. So go ahead. I'm going to take we'll you the pliers. And, uh, good job, Kurt. Go all right. Good luck, bud. Go get it. I say it all the time, this is one of those great places to fish. We came here this summer and Brian and I got a chance to catch some pike like this, open water using musky tackle. And now we're back here again this winter and take a look at this beautiful fish. You know, this is a long drive to come here. Wakusco Falls, Manitoba, it's about seven hours north of Winnipeg, Manitoba. So it's a bit of a drive, but worth every minute of it when you can put fish like this on the ice. Well, Brian, that was our third flag already this morning. We haven't just barely got our tip up set up. Yeah, well, it's sometimes can be fast and furious, and sometimes you got to just wait it out. So, kind of got a mixed bag today, but just in a shallow bay here, four or five feet of water, and just going along a ledge adjacent to deep water, as well as along the cabbage bed. So we just kind of made a, a V with it, put our tent right in the middle, just to use as their windbreak, the Otter XD hub. And we're just running a fluorocarbon 50 pound liter with a number two and a number four in the head. Simple, easy, quick strike rig. Then using our beaver dams. And on this one, what I've done is actually used my flag from a Arctic Circle and put it on top of here. Cause this is our furthest yep. distance. So it just gives us a little, little higher flag, a little easier visual. And it sure was easy to see <laughs> when it went. Yeah. It's not very deep here. No, we no. got about five feet. Yeah, so it's you can actually see the bottom and what I do is I'm really picky on my bait like extremely picky I want everything running horizontal never on an angle at all it just seems like the fish are more apt to hit <laughs> He's just no one likes it. Ooh. He's got some weight to him, Brian. <laughs> well, now he's slacking off a little bit. We were just getting the other tip up set up, and all of a sudden we looked, and this one's up. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll be your wingman. All right, thanks. But you know, it's hard to tell sometimes. You get up here, and it feels like it's not that big a fish. In fact, last year, my brother Kent was here with us, and twice he thought he lost the fish. And oh, that's a lot of water. Good job. Look at that. Another just solid Manitoba fish. You know, it's incredible up here. Not only the size of the fish, but look at the girth on them. They're just beautiful, solid fish. You know, no matter which one we pull up through the hole, they're incredible. You know, when you are pike fishing, today it's about 20 degrees, but the wind's blowing about 15 to 20 miles an hour. It's important when you take these fish out of the water and you want to take a picture and then turn them loose, make sure you keep them in the water. Keep their eyes covered, because once those eyes glaze over and they start to freeze, Unfortunately, that fish isn't going to make it. So great to have your camera ready to go, have the tools ready to go to unhook, snap your pictures, and then get them right back to the water before those eyes freeze. We're going to let this big bite go. One of the things I like to do with my beaver dam tip-ups, whether I'm using the Arctic Circle or the traditional Arctic Fisherman, is I like to take a permanent marker and put a small arrow right below the spindle on the tip up. Now what that does is I put the arrow the direction the line is going when it's going out. You say, well, why would you do that? Well, when I come up to the hole and that spindle is not moving, you don't know if the fish is there or not. If I want to pick the tip up up out of the hole or take it out of the water, I don't want the fish to feel me do that. So what I like to do is I just grab the spindle I spin it a few times in the direction the arrow turns and allows me to put a little bit of slack in line. I can pick the tip up out of the water without the fish feeling me. Oh no, no, oh, there no. it goes. Slow down. Ooh, Ooh. spinning right. Oh, this feels, this is a good fish. This is a better fish. Come on, rip some line out of my hands. He feels heavy, it's dead weight. Took about half that arbor. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and it moves water like that too. Don't get angry at me. Holy smokes. There we Ryan. go. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's what you Look call the man for. <laughs> man, on the beaver dam, hand lining giant oh, northern. Oh, man. Nothing better than that. Huh. All right, dip his eyes. You got my bag with me? Yep. Man, when he came up the hole, it was nothing <laughs> but mouth. <laughs> yeah. So one thing I do when we catch a lot of pike is, you know, your bait can get pretty beat up and you want bait to look good in the water is the longer it's been in there it gets water sagged uh, and waterlogged and it'll just start sagging that's what i mean by water sag it won't sit very good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook this one up it's caught a couple fish now and if it doesn't look good in the water just don't chance it especially on waters like this where you could have a fish of a lifetime you want to make sure that uh oh my goodness another flag you want to make sure that your bait is perfect so that when it comes and takes a look, it actually hits it instead of just swimming right by. But I'm just gonna leave this in the water a little ways. And we've gotta go get another flag. Warm up the hands, cause it's chilly. Take the bait, leave the glasses. Get out of the line and go. <laughs> look at that fish, folks. You know, this is just awesome Northern Manitoba experience, Big Northern Pike. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Outdoor Bound TV will be right back after these messages. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and Beaver Dam Ice Fishing. Otter, the leader in quality and innovation, is opening doors with the release of the all new crossover series ice shelters. All crossover shelters convert from traditional front door entry to convenient side door entry and back again in seconds. Otter, the toughest, strongest, 
smartest, and now most versatile shelter on ice. Shuttle only from Markham Technologies. Big Bear Down has all the supplies you need for this year's hunting season. Check out our large selection of 10 point and Horton crossbows and accessories. Big Bear Down has added more hunting gear, deer attractant, mineral, and accessories to meet your needs. Come see our in stock selection of hunting blinds, stands, game trail cameras, and more. Big Bear Down has the quality name brand products you can depend on again and again. Big Bear Down, conveniently located on Highway 13 in Abbotsford. You are the first to rise, first to teach, to get your hands dirty and lend them. You're first to protect. As a hunter, being first is a big part of who you are. And we are first for you. The single most influential hunters' rights and conservation organization in the world. Join like your way of life depends on it. I tell you, it is absolute chaos here in Manitoba. I can see Brian and Lee over there fighting a fish and I ran and grabbed this one and I tell you what, he's made two or three runs. so. It's just a lot of dead weight on the other end of the line, and that's usually a pretty good sign. Oh, he's pumping his head. Ooh. There he's got him. Look at that. Take a look at that northern pike. Incredible. You know, I've said it a hundred times. I love Manitoba. I love coming up here and catching some of these awesome pike. And he's probably a good solid 35 inch fish, really heavy fish. I'm telling you, a ton of fun. You know what? Let's head over back with Lee and Brian see what they've got going over there. It looks like they've got their hands full. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on, baby. Oh man, this is a heavy fish, Lee. Oh, as long as he wasn't in the weeds, I think he's coming with me right now. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Another dandy. <laughs> What an awesome fish. Oh my God. Oh yeah. That one's gotta be 40. He's over 40 He's for sure. Over 40. Absolutely. And we've just been talking about this. this. The sun has been going in and out of the clouds and something about that has triggered these fish. Yeah, it's a feeding, feeding fronts I call it. So one of the things I came up with is just an adapter using a socket and ground it down and filled it with some foam. So it sits on top of the beaver dam and then you can use it to fill your arbor. And just, you know, that's what ice fishing or fishing in general is. Figuring out ideas to make your life easier, help you catch more fish. And a lot of times, sometimes it doesn't work at all and sometimes it's absolutely awesome. So it just helps me get that many more tip ups down on the ice that much quicker, which in turn gets more fish. Oh, he's going still. Oh, he took out a ton of line. Ah, now he's coming. Ah, he's coming. <laughs> Look at the line he's taking out. Oh. You gotta go in here quick. <laughs> there he saw the hole. He took a ton of line. The arbor's about empty. <sighs> That. I brought the drill. All right. <laughs> well, let's see if we can get this guy in here. He's moving oh. some water. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Another great Manitoba Northern Pike. I'm telling you, this is a ton of fun, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> this is. It's starting to get tiring. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh. we're going to feel it tonight. No There's doubt no about other it. place I can think of that you could do this. You know, there really isn't. This and, is and, unbelievable. You know, this is probably fish number 
25 to 30, I would guess. It's probably 1.30 in the afternoon. Still haven't eaten my lunch yet. <laughs> hey, we don't even have that many lines out. We don't, we have eight tip-ups out. And I tell you what, it's been a constant run all day. Now this is not a 40 inch fish, but Oh, but you know, I tell you what, there's a lot of places <laughs> where that's a very desirable fish to you catch. And, and and we just kind of look at it like, huh, it's just another northern pike. So, <laughs> well, let's get them unhooked. I think we got more flags flying over there. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, geez. Oh, he's almost got all the line out. Feels like a decent fish. Oh, right up there. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Look at that. <sighs> nice representative, probably a 36 inch fish. And look, you've got a little bit of weed and look at the beak on that fish. And you can tell that that mouth was probably caught by another angler and ripped up probably in the summer, I'm gonna say, with bigger gear. Like this. I love slow turners. I love slow turners. Right here, I'm gonna set it. That feels like a good fish. Feels pretty decent. Let's see if he does a turn on me here. Just constant pressure. You don't have to be scared with barbless hooks about losing fish. Ugh. You just gotta have constant pressure and Nah, he's not as big as us. Open. And then don't freak out about him. He's going to thrash there all the time. <laughs> Just hold him. Then they stop. And they always flare when they stop. And then that's when you just slowly put your fingers in there and grab him. Make it look so easy. Yeah, it's so easy, but that's probably a. Oh, he's got something in his belly, hey? Yeah. Oh, because he's got my white, my little Cisco in there for sure. Huh. But. This is probably a 28 inch fish, so this one yep. probably would be capable, you know. We have a 29 and a half inch slot up here, that's the maximum. Allow two fish a person on Reed Lake for pike or walleye, as well as our other lakes you're allowed four a person. And that's your possession limit is your daily limit. Okay. So whatever you have is a possession. If you've got four walleye in your fridge, you legally can't catch four more the next day. So. And that okay. just keeps our fishery going strong. Oh, and you've got a wonderful fishery here. And allows for our big fish to grow and keep growing and multiple people catch them and that's what it's all about. Feels a little heavy. Oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> what a way to end the day. <laughs> Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by PK Lures and Markham Technologies. Let PK Lures get you geared up this ice fishing season with the legendary PK Flutterfish. Uniquely designed for the ultimate vibration, this jigging spoon accurately mimics a distressed bait fish. And with the glowing eyes and wide variety of colors, the Flutterfish is a must have for your tackle box. The PK Predator is a pan fish killer. The patented blade design creates a flash that triggers massive reaction bites from huge perch and crappie. Check out the full line of PK Lures at PKLure.com or at a retailer near you. Offering features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies.
Since 1957, Meyer Buildings has offered full design and project management for your farm, equestrian, commercial, and storage building needs. Our recreational building line specializes in the design and construction of affordable, remote area buildings for the outdoorsman. Bring your dreams to life with custom building solutions and Meyer Buildings. Whether it's a new vacation home, farm addition, or commercial project, our attention to detail is second to none. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call us today for a better way to build. Room Motors has been serving Central Wisconsin since 1947 and offers a full line of quality Kubota tractors, mowers, and RTVs. Let the knowledgeable staff at Rue Motors help you select the best Kubota RTV for you and your family. From weekend food plot maintenance to projects around your yard, you can count on Rue Motors for all your quality Kubota products at both convenient locations. Rue Motors, take the short drive up Highway 45 in Anigo and Burnhamwood. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Yeti by Northland. Oh man, the problem with up here is you never know which flag to choose because we got another one up. So we'll see if this one has a big fish on. He ran a lot of line out and then he stopped. So we might have swam back a ways. Nothing so far. There he is. Oh, I can't tell if I'm stuck in the ice or if this is. Holy man, he swam that fast towards. <laughs> and I got a knot now. Man, mayhem. Mayhem in Manitoba. What have you oh my goodness, on? Kurt. What oh my you... goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that by oh, any standards. Man, Brian. Look at the mouth on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fish. Awesome. Oh, fish. man. He's got a beak on oh, him. Oh, hey? does he ever? You know, he's coming up, and all you yeah. can see is his mouth coming up through the hole. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, I thought he was a lot bigger fish than that. Well, I saw you over here going still, hand over hand, so I knew it had to be a nice fish. He's still Look a solid 38 incher, probably. That's a beautiful 16, fish. 16, 17 pounds. Oh, man. You know, you, you get spoiled. It's like, oh, it's just 16, 17 pounds. Yeah, you, know? that's, and you say that all the time. You're like, oh, it's just one of those fish. Oh. You know, I tell you what, folks, <laughs> we, we are just dead tired because we have been running for flags all day today. If you're interested in coming here to northern Manitoba to stay with Brian, and his wife Alyssa here at Wacusco Falls Lodge. Please give them a call. All their information is right here on the screen. It's a bit of a drive. They're about seven hours north of Winnipeg, Manitoba. But I tell you what, worth every second of it. Just Look like at that fish. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, join us again here next week. We'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world. Right here on Outdoor Bound TV. What a fish. Mwah. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Nice little Manitoba wall. Northern Pike. I'm gonna be cramping up tomorrow. That's what's fun about fishing. And tip up fishing, you know, is about a bunch of guys just hanging out looking for flags. <laughs> in the middle of it, you're going to be like, oh, look at this fish. I'm gonna be in the background being like, oh my life. Put Manitoba on your destination list this year. Mm -hmm.